So I've uh, I've gotten this comment on like how do you download the unfair Magua mods? Or if you're just wondering, to mod Kirby in general. Fear not! I'm here to explain it for you. So uh, when it comes to those mods, honestly, the best source to get any of your mods from, I think it's called Game Banana. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search up Unfair Magalore. I don't care that I don't have enough cloud storage. I have I have a terabyte left. Screw off. Um, you're just gonna look for the mod that you want. In this case, you already know I'm doing Unfair Magalore. Uh, you just hit download. Or if you want Unfair Magalore and Unfair Magalore Soul, then I recommend going for this link so you can experience both. Because if you download the other mod. You're only gonna get unfair Magalore Soul. And can you shut up? I know I have I don't have enough space. I literally have a terabyte left. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But yeah. So you're just gonna wanna hit manual download. In that case, it'll be downloading. It says one on the side because I already have it downloaded, but I'm just doing this to explain. And uh, if you already have Dolphin and Kirby's Return to Dreamland on it, uh, if you don't I recommend searching up another video on on how to download games or how to download Dolphin. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna double click so it comes up with this. Hit properties, uh, go to file system, go to the disk and hit extract entire disk. You can put this disk wherever you want. Honestly for me, I put it in this thing called new folder as you can see I already have uh, when it extracts the entire disk it gives you a folder called data so you're gonna have that once the the disk is extracted and so you're gonna want to pull it up on the side and you're gonna want to open up uh, the mod that you just downloaded. You need to have like a, a RAR opener. In this case, I have. Oh, hold on. In this case, I have a WinRAR or whatever it is. But um, you're just gonna want to hit open on that. Open. If it comes up with this, just ignore it. I mean, I ignore it every time. And uh, go to new folder. Hit unfair Magalore. Go to the data file. And you see how they both have a file page? You want to drag this one into this one. And it's going to be like, oh they have something they have somewhat same files so do you want to replace them hit yes in this case i'm not going to because i already have it downloaded and you should be good after that but the one thing you want to make sure that's on go to properties go to patches make sure bypass metafortress is on because if it isn't on the mods are not going to work because from what I heard, it kind of works like as an anti-cheat thing. And if it's off, they're, they're going to sense the mods and block it out. So you want to turn this on to make sure the mods go through. And once, once it's done, you should be good to go. Like, now let me just boot mine up. I'm just gonna skip to the part where it's loaded because for some reason it takes kind of a long time. Yeah. This is all the, uh, these are the, um, the mods that I've downloaded. I've downloaded Shadow Kirby. I'm gonna put the link for the mods down in the description just in case if you wanna find it. If it's on TikTok, go to my YouTube and go to the video with this. And you'll see it. Okay, so if you see 
the extra file shrunken down, you'll know that the mod is working. And also, if the thing isn't shrunken, pause. Um, if the if the file isn't shrunken, and you want to check, just go to the ship and uh, go to the ability room, right there. Then you'll find this door and this star. The star leads to Unfair Maglor Soul, and the door leads to Unfair Maglor. I didn't know, but you have to have all the doors unlocked in order to get them. Yeah, I, I didn't know about that, so yeah, I just went on thinking the mod didn't work for a long time. So yeah, there you go. Now you know how to mod! Whenever it comes to different mods, you just do the same thing. You just drag the file from the mod and replace the ones that you have already. Like, uh... Now, let me show you a different mod. Let me shut this down. Okay. Let's, uh, go to Game Banana. Let's do Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I don't care about Friday Night Funkin' Mods. I want Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Kirby's... Oh wait, Kirby. There we go, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I feel like they have the most mods on here. So, um... For this one, let's just do, I don't know, Landia DDD. It's gonna look stupid, but yeah. So, download. I'm just running through it again, just in case if you didn't understand the first time. Because I'm not going to lie, that happened to me. So, you're just going to hit download, wait for it to download. Okay, so you can see the land you file downloaded. So, what you want to do, open it up. Open. Go here. Go to the folder where the extracted disk is, it's going to be called data. And then you just want to grab files, put that in there, and then replace. And then once that's done, you should be good. Let me see here. Oh yeah. You can also open your file like this. Go to data, sys, main doll, that's it. But that's a way to open it, so you're getting the file exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If it doesn't work the first time, just try to drag the mod files into your normal files again. Because sometimes, when you do it, it won't work. But after doing that and restarting the game, it works. Easy. But, yeah, hopefully this helped you to learn at least a, a, a decent amount how to mod your game. Because, I know, I get it. It's it, it looks complicated, but once you learn, it's easy. So, I want to say thank you for watching. I, how, blah, blah. I hope you have a good rest of your day. God bless, and I'll see you on the next upload. Bye-bye.